Hey everyone, so today we are making salmon. Salmon is such a good meat for you, especially fresh caught wild Alaskan salmon. And it has now become one of my favorite summertime foods because that's when you can get the freshest wild caught Alaskan salmon. So this recipe is a basic recipe. Uh, I use olive oil because I love olive oil and I think fish cooks great in it. You could also make this recipe and swap out the olive oil with butter and you kind of make a brown butter uh, recipe. So the first thing we're gonna do is just add some olive oil and I like to give it a bath of olive oil. And then you wanna let the oil heat up to hot but not smoking. If it starts to smoke, take it off the heat and uh, let it cool down. Unlike a lot of meats, they want you to season them and marinate them for a long time. Uh, salmon, that is not what you wanna do. You wanna wait until you're just about ready to cook it before you even put anything on it. Then when you cook it, you'll wanna cook the uh, non-skin side down first so that you're finishing it with the skin side down. And that's because, you know, a lot of people say you cook salmon about five minutes per side, give or take, depending on your heat. Um, so you wanna finish on the skin side because that way, if you only need to cook it for two minutes uh, to get it done, then you know, you're not cr uh, crisping that skin as much. So uh, my oil's been heating here for a little while. So I'm gonna add, you know, coat this with some salt and this is, you know, kind of to taste or preference. There we go. And a little bit of pepper, fresh pepper. And that's it. Then you simply take your piece of salmon, pull up it in the oil, and let it cook for about five minutes. Now, while this is sitting on here, I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt to the skin side. Now, you'll see that the way, because I kind of gave it a bath here, it's very noisy and it's bubbling. Um, I like that, because I like that deep kind of fried oil feeling to it. Um, if you don't want to do that, you can just put a tiny bit of oil on that, or some people will just oil the piece of fish. That works as well. Um, I like this extra oil because when I'm done, I'm going to kind of baste the fish with it. Get a little pepper in there. But sometimes it will start to smoke, um, or it's making quite a mess, you can see here. You can actually do my little hack and just cover it with it lightly with a piece of tin foil. That kind of helps keep the splashing oil, if you do deep oil like I do, off of it. It also helps hold some heat in, so it means that you're not gonna have to cook it quite as much once you flip it over. Now you're gonna be tempted to check to see if it's done. Don't do that, you don't wanna touch it, just let it cook. It's not gonna burn, especially if you got good oil in there and you don't have the heat up too high, it's not gonna burn. In fact, I've made the mistake of checking it too soon and the fish is actually stuck to the pan. Uh, but if I don't d check it, it won't stick to the pan. So also another good reason not to check it. All right, so this has been cooking for about five minutes. You can see that it's really calmed down. A lot of the water, whatever that was in the fish and the oil mixing, it's not making so much noise anymore. Um, but it's looking pretty good. I, you don't need to do this right now, but I'm gonna just test the internal temperature of the fish. I like to do this because then it kind of gives me an idea of how long I need to cook it on the other side. Um, I'm just going to kind of stick it in there and see what I'm at. See if you can see that. And so remember when I told you it's not going to burn? It's not going to burn. All right, let's go ahead and flip it. Okay, looks really good. This is, uh, as you can see, I like it kind of cooked deep, but I love olive oil. So you can put less oil in if you don't want that effect. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some lemon juice. And this is kind of just, you know, based on experience and taste. I'm gonna throw in a couple of things of garlic. right off the pan. Oh yeah, that is so good. Doesn't even need anything, I can just eat it straight like that. Yay, look who came home. <laughs> <laughs> 
Jan came in just as I was doing my taste test review of the fish. So I want you to try this live on camera and <laughs> be honest. <laughs> <laughs> live, no pressure. <laughs> Well, the lemons do make it look. Like it's I good. know you got to do your garnishments to make it Super look pro. Super fancy. That's really good. She's you heard it really good. Not just good, <laughs> really good. <laughs> look, Wild cut. She's eating it. <laughs> <laughs> what was that live commercial? It's Mikey. It's he my, likes it. <laughs> it's, my, it's Jen. She <laughs> likes it. But yeah, it's super good though. Did you only make one piece? Yeah, it was just going to be for me, but since my you're lover came home... You're such a brat! <laughs> what am I supposed to You can have it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can have it. I'll just starve over here. I made it for you. I was just testing to make sure it tasted good. <laughs> <laughs> now I've heard it all. All right, everyone. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks so much. Appreciate your support.